This episode of the Mayo Report starts right now. Welcome to the Mayock Report. I'm Ben Spade and I'll be hosting the show for today. This is my first episode so I have to explain to you guys what Mayock means. M-A-O-C. Mayock stands for magic and other crap. So I'm going to be talking about magic mostly almost in every episode and other crap along the way. Stuff that interests me. You know like Legos, Minecraft and all that cool stuff. Movies and explosions and everything. So what's usually going to happen is I'm going to choose three things. Sometimes all magic, sometimes one, sometimes not, sometimes one or the other. I'll just juggle it as I go along. So the first thing I'm going to be reviewing is the deck of cards. The newest deck from Illusionist, this is the Infinity deck. This is probably my favorite deck that Illusionist has ever made, possibly my favorite deck that I've ever owned. First off, it's got an awesome tuck box here. We can see these uh, spirals, almost looks like clockwork, the inside of a clock. Up on top we see repeating, it says Infinity two or three times, same on the bottom underneath. Also in this inner circle, you guys probably can't see this, but it says Infinity. Just again and again, it just keeps repeating it, Infinity, Infinity. The front. It's pretty similar. It's got the same kind of circular design inside this yellowish gold circle. It says infinity. It's got some really cool scroll work on the sides. And what I love about this is a lot of the features on this box are out jogged. You know, it's almost like Braille. You can feel across. You can feel across the uh, tuck box. The word infinity. All this is out jogged. This is out jogged. On the top here, you can see we have the infinity emblem. It's just a figure eight turned on its side, and also we have right here on the top, it says, Time Discovers Truth. Nice silver lettering. It says United States Playing Card Company on the side here, Infinity Series on the side here, and on the bottom, it has the Illusionist logo with all the copyright crap. A lot of cool cards here. White Borders, which is excellent. White Borders will be great for fans, uh, reverse fans, Elms account, and all that, all that good stuff. They spread excellently. They fan nice. It's an excellent card stock. It's not UV 500, it's just air cushion finish. It's simple, but Illusionist has really outdone themselves again on how they make cards. All the suits in this deck, they're completely redone as far as shape is concerned. They're not the same as standard bicycle or tally-ho or streamline cards. They've got their own design. That's what makes this deck so awesome. They've got their own design here. You can see almost barely they've got white borders outside of each suit. And we have a new club emblem right here. You can see it's kind of forked at the bottom there. This, that's going to be the same with the spade. It's forked at the bottom here. Uh, and just again, white borders. Nothing entirely new. And this is my favorite card in the deck. It's the Ace of Spades. Illusionist always has awesome Ace of Spades cards with their unique decks. It says Infinity Series at the bottom. You get your two pips here. What I think is going on in the middle, it almost looks like space, like a, like a nebula. That's what you see with the bits of pink and white here and the black shadows. You know, a nebula and space, infinity. Who knows how far away those things can stretch. And I really think that, that sells the fact with Infinity, with the whole Infinity deck. The court cards are awesome in the Infinity deck. They're completely redesigned. The shapes and the kind of weapon that each court card is holding is still the same, but it just has an overall new look. You've got the yellows and the greens in here, which I think is just a great contrast. Real similar to the colors on the backs of the Infinity, with all this goldish, yellow, almost green look to it. The next thing that I'm going to be reviewing is something that's been around for a little bit longer with Illusionist. This is David Stone, The Real Secrets of Magic, Volume 1. This isn't to be confused with The Real Secrets of David Stone. That's a different DVD entirely. There's The Real Secrets of David Stone and then The Real Secrets of Magic by David Stone. This is Volume 1 of 2. It is a DVD instructing you on how to get a career started in restaurant magic. This is a great DVD. It's got a ton of tricks in it. I think about 19 routines here. The whole list of the routines right here. Well, I've got good news and bad news about this. I'll start with the bad news first and I'll get that out of the way. Bad news is that sometimes, every now and then, the DVD will have some issues with the languages and it'll switch from French to English or English to French and then you've got to go all the way into the settings and change it. That's not that big a deal, but it does get a little annoying after it happens seven or eight times because it does happen a lot. Second downside to this is that David Stone is French. So if you're listening to this in English, which you most likely will be, he is kind of hard to understand it sometimes. I'm not trying to attack you, David Stone. This is a good DVD. It's just you might need to work on your English a little more. One thing you need to know, this DVD is not specified just for table hopping magic. It's more formal entertainment. Half of it is table hopping. The other half is cocktail parties. Magic you do at cocktail parties. Table hopping, it's straightforward. You have to have a table to do a lot of the routines. Cocktails is a little different. You've got to be standing up and can do everything in your hands. That's mostly like coin tricks, uh, rope, and a couple card manipulations. 19 routines may not seem like a lot, 
but considering the quality of the tricks that are included on here, it is almost like too many tricks, all right? These tricks are great. You get advice from a professional. You get tips and hints on how to handle yourself in restaurants, how to present your magic, how to go about, how to introduce yourself at tables, what to do if a table rejects you, what to do if you mess up on tricks. One final note on the DVD. This is not something for beginners at all. David Stone uses a lot of routines and tricks that involve advanced slides with cards and coins and rope and such like that. And given the fact that this DVD is in two languages, they didn't want to have to film the solutions twice in English and in French. The explanations for each trick in this are silent. David Stone just stands there and shows you how the tricks are done by pointing. Sometimes subtitles come up, but that's basically it. If you know the slides, good. If you don't, scram. This is not something for beginners at all. You have to know the slides in advance if you want to make good use of this DVD. Thanks for watching the Mayock Report. Join us next week as I go over a gaff deck, a mentalist DVD, and a tutorial on my Joker Poker trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Ben Spade. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you want to know more, you can email me at benspade93 at gmail.com.